Bravo. Bravo. Bravo is our pitcher of the season. A little wind out here tonight, but we have. All right, keep talking through here, and be able to pull through here. We've got stats, pulling up rosters. All right, everybody, welcome. 
to Alton City Baseball. I am Wesley Moon here to come out calling the game for t today. Should be a very good match. The last time these two met was earlier this week where we have Haltom won 6-5 over Chisholm. And it should be a good game here tonight between these two again. Very close game. Both teams represented very well here. Here. Let's see if I can pull this a little higher. All right. There we go. Nice higher angle there. All right. Getting warmed up for Haltum. I have a slight high pitch noise currently. We are working on fixing that currently. But as we go in through here, looking at the tune records, you see that that uh, Chisholm Trail is five and six this season already, and uh, Halton is five and one. Both teams are uh, currently fourth in the district as they go through here, and we'll see what they'll be able to get through tonight. First pitch set to start at seven oh five. Martin is up to first bat. You know, as you want a strong leadoff hitter. Not your strongest hitter, of course, in first. But we'll see what he's able to put together in this. Say. First pitch fouled off way out into the forest there. I'm sure we're fishing a lot of baseballs out of that forest right now. The lovely scenic view out here is, is the perfect temperature for baseball. Nice, clean, 63 degrees as it should be. Pitch. Taken as a strike right on the edge. Counts out two on the batter. Pulls it in there. That one goes high, sailing for one and two. Really got to find that through there. So he had trying to find that control here for Bravo. Found it outside. Lost a little piece in that one. And count goes two and two through there. And he rips one just foul. All right. Okay, if you're there. Counts 2 2 on the Chisholm Trail batter here. Still in the first. Rips one high, and it will go into foul. Count stays 2 and 2. Is rips one in the air. This one will stay fair, but is caught by the second baseman. That is our first out of the inning. See if they can maybe get any damage done early, or if this one. Oh, and it gets past his glove. That will be goes to first and gets in there for a double. First pitch 
He saw he ripped. Continue on through here. Oh, he's finally a swinging strike here for our pitcher. That's the first swinging strike we've seen. Just laying into it. Oh, that one. And it gets him. It gets him looking. That is. A strikeout here for our, our pitcher there. First strikeout of the game. That means two out, one man in scoring position on second base. One hit in the game currently. Oh, he goes to it. And he was able to steal third. We have... Man, very close through there. Saw him running, but couldn't do anything about it. Just had to watch it happen. All right, coming in through there. Through there. All right, p pulling everything through there. Pulling his power. And he finds the gap, and the runner will come across the score. And he decides to stop it first. Chisholm Trail able to get out ahead early with a, with a run go ahead in the first inning here. Able to rub that just past the third baseman in no man's land. But able to keep it track. First pitch taken for a strike. Keeping the ball on the ground. Second pitch taken for a strike. Count is 0 and 2. For the matter. With a runner on the first. Rips it in the air. See if it was able to get caught, and it goes foul. Let's take it out through there. Keep everything going through here, but continuing on. Gets it on the ground with a diving stop, and the first baseman will get the last out of the inning, and that is it. Middle of the first inning, you will see Chisholm Trail get an early lead here of 1 0 over Haltom City. A nice diving stop there by the first baseman. Exactly what you want to see to be able to keep the damage off the board. A little bit of a rocky start here. The pitching staff. But we'll see if Haltom City will be able to answer. You're watching High School Boys Baseball on the Vibe Media Network.
Holy get through here. Testing. You need to testing through here. All right, and we're back into play here at Halton City Stadium. Halton City looking to answer the early runs to here. Certainly got their money's worth out of those second, the second third hitters. First pitch taken outside for ball one. Miss really, at least didn't go to the dirt. They were able to control it, though. Second pitch taken high for ball number two. Not finding the same position. Only one of the hardest things of the pitcher is finding that strike zone, really pounding it, getting in there early. For, rips that one right to the left fielder. He was able to come up with it only for a single. That is a leadoff single here for Haltom. Try to get damage on early here. Exactly really what you want to see here. As Haltom. See, trying to really try to get to those Chisholm Trail pitchers. Really, sometimes it can be a psychological thing, really beating them down. If you get on there early. Pitchers are creatures of habit, if nothing else. Let's see what this right hander is able to do here. First pitch, ball one. And the runner goes, but is not. You know, makes it right back. Good job, the catcher, being on top of it. Making sure to really watch that runner. You really want a nice pair of wheels in your leadoff batter, really trying to get on base there. Oh, he runs for it again, and he will easily be caught stealing. Not a good idea running on that one. Fantastic move by the catcher getting that out. So, and then right there. And that will be our first out of the inning on a caught stealing from our leadoff batter there. Just like that, the runner was raced. How do we... That would take it for a strike one. Counts currently 3-1 on our second batter. One out. As it stands through here, we're seeing... Rips the single off the glove of the first baseman. And the runner's able to reach again. Just like Deja Vu, we are we see a batter on first base. But this time with one out. You have to buy the athleticism to trying to steal. Especially with the catcher under there. Okay, we start like gutsy for it. We see our third batter coming up to the plate here. Oh, beautiful finding that strike zone right there. Bit of a change up coming through there. You see it right at the end. The fooling the batter right there. And the second is a ball, but threw it very much in the same spot twice. But 
we're just seeing the stuff for this young pitcher here. Seeing what he can really do on the mound. Throws it around the same place again. Now the count runs a 2 1. One out runner on first base. Let's see if you really get it in there. He's able to find it, but keeping the ball on the ground. Goes with easy play and gets the out on first. But the runner is able to advance the second, which means two outs with a runner in scoring position for our number four batter. Try to get something done here for Haltum here. Exactly the kind of position you really want to see in this. Two out, one man on. This is what you want from your cleanup batter. You want it to get it done. And he rips it in the air. And it's going. Oh, and it is just fair. And the runner will. Sc oh, no. It was ruled out. It looked. Oh, it was ruled foul. It looked like it stayed on the ground in the bounds, but the umpire is on the first baseline did determine that it was foul. So cool. I had that state fair. That'd be easy. Easy double. Oh! Jock Paul. Good block by the catcher there being able to mitigate the damage. Especially if you have a ball in the dirt like that. He did swing on that, so this count goes to 0-2. Oh, and a strikeout will end the inning. No damage done. Scores currently stands as 1-0 Chisholm Trail. And that is the end of the first inning. As we go into our second inning here. You're listening Wesley Moon on Vibe Media. All right, and we're back. Hold him. Take a pitch outside for ball, one ball, button strike, even count. Oh, string, swing, strike. Brings our count to one and two. No outs currently. Really try to find it here. This is outside for ball number two. Evens the count two and two.
Rips the ball right to the shortstop. And he gets him in time. Always want to try to hustle those outs, even if they are outs. But we was able to get there in time to get that runner. That was the first out, top of the second inning. Oh, first pitch strike. Beautiful right around the edges there. Absolutely what you want to see. Try oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Tried it through there. Couldn't quite find it. Just slipped out of the zone for ball one. We start count to one and one. Ooh. Lost control of that one. Went a bit high for two one. Oh, got him swinging. Brings the count to two and two. If they get out of here, really people set in a groove. Ooh, taken just down and away. Ball number three. Full count here. First count. Full count. Umpire doing a fantastic job letting the pitcher know the count. And takes ball number four for our first walk of the game. Takes there on a full count. He didn't, he didn't chase it. He fought it. In the end, he was victorious on that. Incredibly difficult in those three do counts. Not swing. But he managed to hold off and got himself a walk. Difficult on both sides of the plate there. Misses down and away from ball number one. Good block by the catcher there. It's the last thing you want to see is uh ball goes sailing behind the plate. Pitcher's really struggling to find through here. That is second ball. Two balls and no strikes on the second hitter of the evening, of the inning. Takes, oh, that was called a strike by the umpire. Grace in the blade brings our count to two, one. Oh, and he swings at it, brings it to two and two. Digging out of a f two, first two pitches. Couldn't seem okay, but it seems like they've had a little conversation there of the mound. It rips it high, and that will be foul. These fantastic nets protecting us from any astray foul balls. Really got to get it through there. And he finds the pitch he was looking for, rips it right between the center fielder and right fielder. And he's able to cut off. Looks for it. Ah, oh, but he is safe at third. A nice single right there, exactly where you see it. Didn't try to run it off for a double. I honestly think he could have probably pulled it off, but he took the safe route. Sometimes it's all you need. Very difficult to judge whether they're which batter they're going to go after, and you never want to risk putting yourself in the position where you get that out. As the second hit here, or Chisholm Trail, opts to bunt. He takes the bunt for the first out, and he's safe at the plate. Run scores on a bunt. Fantastic ideas. He had the idea. A pitch perfect bunt. Couldn't quite get to the plate in time, and the runner scores from third. That's exactly how you practice it out. The Braves are scored in 2 0 for Chisholm. Certainly a close play to the plate. 
But it goes sailing upwards for ball number one. See only one out here in the top of the second for Chisholm Trail. Oh, takes it. Another ball right there on the outside. Down and away. And it rips it in the air. And that will go foul. Pitcher is struggling to find his groove. Trying to get two outs in a row. Hasn't managed to get that yet. But only needs one more out here. Runner on second is still continuing to threaten. And not uh, the catcher certainly noticed that, but see if we'll see a pickoff attempt at any point here. Oh, he's not able to block here. Goes for the throw. Oh! And he makes it in safe. On a foul tip. Managed to make the ball made it off the ground. Was not called a foul tip, but... The runner was able to advance because they opted to go for the guy on third and a miscue on the defense there. Uh, there he goes. Fires a first pitch strike right over the plate. For the Haltom pitcher. Halt and catcher really on trying to make a point from not running him. He is they have done quite a job so far of stealing those bases. Really becoming a menace on the base paths here. You definitely see the way he's angling. He's see here as the count goes to one and two. Here for the halt of pitcher here. Outside, goes for the runner, goes, and he makes it. Another base stolen here for Chisholm Trail. We do see two runners in scoring position with two outs for Chisholm. A lot of pressure on the batter here to get something. Especially hard to do with two outs. There's no room for error. But, oh, he finds his pitch in the gap. One runner scores, and a runner is held at third. Will not come around. Oh, and he runs for it. And another, because the ball was still alive. And the runner takes second. Oh, he doesn't take second. Oh, he does. He was just getting his, uh, anything through there. Turned into a nice little double there. Uh, or the RBI that makes it bring your score to 3 0. Here on the top of the second here for Chisholm Trail. Rips it there. This is a routine play. And he's ruled safe. He hustled it out. He hustled out a routine and turned it into a single. The comedy here to have a look at that because determine whether or not the batter on first would be out or not. It's certainly close. I can see it going either way through there, but the call on the field will stand, and that is another run for Chisholm Trail. Bring her score to 4 0. All right, finally, he takes a 
Swinging strike out of the first pitch. If we count to 0-2. Still two outs. But they have done quite a bit of their damage with two outs in play. We've seen two runs come across this inning. Two outs. Goes for the run. And he's ruled safe. Another base is stolen. Chisholm Trail absolutely dominating on the base paths. I've lost count of the number of, of steals we've had already this game. Rips it way out into left field. One runner will come around. And that'll be another double in this inning, bringing our score to 5 0 for Chisholm Trail. Coach is going out for a mound visit. Going to have a nice talk with his his pitcher there. Definitely going to bring everybody in here. Going to have a nice little uh, meeting on the mound. Really, as a coach here, you want to come back and show everybody what's going on. And you want to build back up their confidence because... Looking like we're having some substitutions here as well. Um, as it stands. Gave it a chance to catch back up here. As a halt pitcher, you've got to be really disappointed here, but it's never too late here if you can, your team can have your back here. We have seen two errors on the part of Halton so far. But we'll see what happens if they be able to come back into this. Play is seem to come back together. Time to shake it off. See if we can. Uh, it's still two outs here in the top of the second. See if they can. If the Chisholm Trail can. Offense have been doing everything here. They've been on the paths. They've been finding their. Really locating those pitches and uh, really putting contact on that ball. So we've had six hits here through two innings. For one, uh, one and two thirds innings. All right. We'll see if that is a first pitch strike. We'll see if that the wi coaching wisdom comes back to help him here. Oh, he did go around through there. He just said that he swung. O oh, two. There he goes. Seem to fighting his groove here. There we go. It was it's a three pitch strikeout here for Haltem. That will bring us to the middle of the inning. Seems to have uh, it's good. We have a nice we had a little a little meeting between the the minds there, and it seemed to have helped him out there. Now we'll see if they can answer back these six runs, and you'll see the Wesley Moon on Vibe Media.
All right, and we are back here. Start the bottom of the second inning. Still 6-0 for Chisholm Trail. And he's able to do it through a first pitch strike. He hopes that the uh, pitching inning here. We will keep it up through there. The last thing you want is to have a batting performance and the pitch is not able to keep up with it. But that brings our count to one and one. Keep it going through here. He swings at it as our second strike. Count goes one and two. for the Chisholm Trail pitcher. And drives it out there. Pretty routine play. Oh. Oh, but it goes into a single. I guess I should not call anything a routine play. It goes into a single. For Haltham City. So there are no outs. One runner on. Except the next Haltham bet. Takes one down away for ball number one. And we'll be able to see if Haltham has been is able to be as active on the base paths as Ooh, takes some, a strike right there on the outside line. That brings her down to one and one. Ooh, another laid it off in the same position. That brings our count to one and two. Bill Strikes were looking through here. Pitch. Drills in the same position. Got, got it for one. Oh, but the ball goes sailing. And that will turn into a double on an error. A pass ball. As a defensive, you always would hope you go for that double play, but well, sometimes they just get to first too soon. Or the ball goes sailing past first base. Not much you can do about it at that point. That's our first out, but we do have a runner in scoring position here. For Haltham. Hoping to get their first run of the game this inning. That was called down and away for ball one. Pinch. Called for a strike on the outside corner. Really drilling into that. Probably the pitcher's doing a fantastic job of locating his pitches, trying to stay inside that zone. And does it again. Another strike on the outside corner. Caught it as a looking. That brings our count to one and two. One out. Runner in scoring position. Katie pulled the trigger and find that location again. Oh, but he's not able to do that. Ball goes right out the glove of the third baseman. Is cut off. Ooh. Takes it in It certainly hit him there. You hate to be the pitcher. <laughs> it's good to have nice camaraderie there. Had his back bounced off. It doesn't look like anything is too off about it. As always, your coach is going to come out there and check out you. Make sure everything is tip-top shape. Make sure that he's all right.
It's all smiles out there, good, so... We'll let him catch his breath a little bit. It's your job as the pitcher is to make sure you are covering home plate as well, along with that catcher. And sometimes that can't bite you, because you are in the harm's way at that point, wherever that ball may land. And it's definitely not where you want to be. But as we see through there... One out with runners on the corners here for Halton City. See if they'll be able to capitalize here. Get something going on the board. Pitcher getting his, letting his pitcher get his groove back. Letting him uh, throw a couple pitches, make sure he's okay. And he looks fine. We'll see if uh, he's not too shaken by that one play. Getting knocked around with the ball. There we go. Throwing that strike. Takes it. Better keeps it in for strike one. He's been able to really fool these batters so far. Not a lot of swinging strikes here for Haltum. That's just a trail pitcher. Slips right out of his hands for the ring the count to one and one. One out. Triple ones. Across the board here. Oh, gets him swinging that time. I spoke too soon. He really got him. You have to imagine as the Haltham hitters, they're really trying. They've seen where his pitch will go, but as a pitcher shot, you really got to find it through there. And it moves it outside, bringing the count up to two and two with one out. Really got to angle that pitch. Really got to got to keep it guessing. There. Pitch. 2-2. Two, two. Goes sailing upwards for 3-2. A walk here would load the bases with runners on corners. Drills went up high here. It comes right to the center fielder. And makes it there. No extra runners. Nobody advances to the second out of the inning. That brings us to two outs in this inning. With the runners on the corners here for Halton City. pitch and it goes a little high for a ball one split ooh that ball is low and outside for ball number two Ever gets into position. Fires that one in there for a strike on the outside. On the outside corner. As a right handed pitcher, you're trying to find that pitch again. Brings the count to three and one. Pulling up through there. And that is ball number four. That loads the bases with two outs for Haltum. They have some opportunity to do some real damage here. Against Chisholm Trail. Bases loaded, two outs.
It's three hits tonight so far for Haltem. Supposed to be four. And that's the pitch he was looking for, but able to keep it in there. Not high enough. And able to escape the bases loaded jam and keep the score zero. The 6 0 is Chisholm Trail 6, Halton 0. Listen to Wesley Moon on Vite Media, powered by Vite.com. All right, play has resumed here at Haltum. See number five coming up for Chisholm. Haltum able to escape that bases loaded two out jam with a lazy pop out to center. We'll see if he's able to replicate his last out performance from that last inning. There we go. Really finding it there. Got him looking. Because I will tell anybody listening, one of the hardest things to do is throw a major, throw a pitching a football. Throw a professional football and a baseball. Because it can be unpredictable sometimes. Sometimes you don't know where they're going. But you hope they get there as the count goes to one and two. Does he go around? And he does. First out here, Haltum. Able to find his groove. Let's see if he can get two outs in a row. That'd be a first for either team to get two outs in a row to start an inning. Takes that outside for ball number one. And that goes sailing by. Likely nobody's on base there for Haltum. Fabrics are counted 2 0 with one out. Another one goes high for ball number three. There you go. He finds he finds his location there for first strike. That brings the count to three and one. Rips it high out of the stadium, but the wrong direction, right behind us. Pings a full count out of the. We'll see if either will be able to break him out of a three zero jam. And he takes it. Takes that ball. For ball number four.
I'm not sure if he was hit by it. I hope he was not hit by it. But taking that ball inside for ball number four to get a runner on first. Ideally, if you're halting, you're really looking for that double play. Two outs, getting out of that. A nice lazy dribbler. See one high, and that will be picked up by right at the warning track by the right fielder, and that is caught for our second out. But that is two out and one on here. But as we saw last inning, they were do they did the majority of their damage with two outs. We'll see if they'll be able to replicate that or if he's been able to find their groove. First pitch fouled off. Ooh. Took that one inside for ball number one. I haven't seen very many inside pitches so far, especially from a right-handed thrower. But that one is down and away from ball number two. We should count 2-1. Two, Most right-handed fastballs are really looking for that outside corner. Get some swing. Exactly what I described it. It was that outside corner for strike number two. Get him swinging on it. Really full on for that. It's a pitch. And a swinging strike will end the inning. That was our first back to back out. Oh, they bring us to the middle of the inning there. Clean inning there. Three outs. All right, and we are back with our action here. After a clean three outs, the Halton pitcher, the... Ooh. There. Right. And he takes one outside for ball number one. Oh, he comes right back. Strike one. And that one is ripped foul right into the wilderness through there. There's a nice metal shed over there, I can imagine. Collects a lot of baseballs. 
right on top of it. It's a nice creased middle part. Really difficult to get out of. Let's start count to one and two. No outs. Takes one high and inside for ball number two. Brings our two two count. See it coming through there. And he finds his strikeout through there. Really locating that pitch on the inside corner. The outside corner. For our first out of the inning. Fires that first pitch strike exactly where he wants it to. Really drilling that strike zone, finding it right where you want it to be. It could be really difficult to get that in there. Did it again and got him swinging. He is certainly favoring a part of the strike zone, but the pitchers can't quite figure it out. The batters can't quite figure it out yet. He's, he's keeping them guessing. Part of that guessing is sailing outside for ball one. It's one, two. With one out. Nobody on. Rips it fly foul. Right into those woods over there. So the count remains at 1-2. Ah, oh, but just barely missed. There are 2-2 two, two count. It's a very fine line when you're going to that place. Missed outside for a full count. 3-2, 1, out. And he goes out swinging. Didn't get a piece of it. We oh, did get a piece of it. But they needed more baseballs. Kept it kept this at bat alive. Just a single swing. Rips it. And right at the alley. And the center fielder is there to make the catch for our second out of the inning. Is now two outs. And the first pitch just misses outside for ball number one. It misses again. Tell he's really trying to find that, that strike zone there, really trying to pinpoint that location, getting it inside. Found it at that time. Found exactly where he wanted it. Bring the counts 2 1, 2 outs. Found it once again to even up the count 2 and 2 on the batter there. 
really gotta keep him guessing. Farmer, the strikes he has fired in this game have been looking. Right over the plate, and that is our third out of the inning. Another strike out there for there. And that will end our third inning, bring us into the fourth. Once again, you're watching Haltem Baseball on Vite Media. All right, and we are back. Top of the fourth inning. After a clean inning for both teams. No scoring either side there. As we come into this inning here. First pitch. Rips it high. And it, oh, just could not carry. Very close. On the left field side. Almost got it. It had the high. We did not have the travel. Jumped on that first pitch for the first out of the inning. It was a fairly winning night out here in Haldem. You have to think that that win is what kept this, <laughs> this ball in the park. Fires the first pitch outside for ball one. Rips one into the midfield. Fires it down. And he got him. Gun down from the shortstop for our second out of the inning. We've seen three pitches so far and two outs. Completely different pitcher than we've seen in previous innings. Solid defense there from Haltom. There. Full count is one and one. Finds one in the midfield. And an easy routine out from the second base for the first baseman. And that is a clean one, two, three inning for Halton pitching. He was confident. He found his pitches. Completely different pitcher out there. But that easy inning will bring us to the bottom of the fourth inning.
And we are back at the bottom of the fourth here. Alden couldn't quite capitalize the last inning. We'll see if they'll be able to get damage through here. Shows bunt, but is still taken for a strike. Saw a fantastic run scored from the Chisholm Trail bunting. And Roop's routine ball to shortstop, and he is out. Fantastic feeding, fielding from Chisholm. Rips one down the middle. Oh, but right past the second baseman. And that will be a single for Halton City getting on first. Chisholm's second baseman certainly took a stab at it, but just couldn't quite make it. And it ripped through his glove. It'll be an error, not a hit, ruled on, on Chisholm there. That is their third error of the game. Take it with just outside and down for ball one. Oh, take it for a strike. My mistake, I thought it was outside. It was a strike. Rips one. Well, they came up with it. And the left fielder is able to get there. Runner will not advance. That's our first out of the inning as well. Pull it up through here. And rips one right to the gap. And that will be another base hit. Well, that'll be a base hit. Because that was real narrow. For Haltum. Oh, yeah. It was. Sorry, there, and there were two outs currently. The score not updated. Two out base hit for Haltum. Runner on first and second. They have an opportunity to actually get on the board here again. We've seen them multiple times here before. That was way outside for ball one. A precarious spot to be in for the Haltum batter here. Trying to get that guy home without getting out. Sails outside again. Uh, apparently he's swung on one of those. That brings the count to one and one. Oh, he went around. Oh, he did go around. Again, the call goes to one and two. You don't want to swing on those pitches that go wide. It'll stay, make you look foolish. That one goes way up. Way up. That brings our count to two and two. Two outs. Oh, catcher took a stab at it. Trying to catch him looking. But the runner at first was safe. Brings our count to full count, three and two. With two outs. A walk here loads the bases for the second time this game for Halton City. Rips it foul. Keeps the ad bat alive. The full count, three, two.
the pitch. And he goes around. And that is our last out of the inning. Halton C not able to capitalize. Runners in scoring position and keeps the score with zeros. Chisholm Trail leading by six. And we're back here, the top of the fifth inning. It's been quiet since our second inning here. Four Chisholm, let's see if they can tap on some more runs here. You can never have too many runs. Both teams have had four hits so far through five, through four innings. Three errors here for the visiting Chisholm Trail. And two for the Haltom City. First pitch taken as a strike. Second pitch swing strike. Hoping to replicate last inning was a very clean one, two, three, three up, three down inning for the Halton pitcher. Takes one away for a ball. Brown count one and two. Did not go around. That is a count two and two. Had to appeal to the first base umpire on there, but he determined he did not go. Oh, taking it right there. Hit by pitch. Umpire is going to go out to have a chat with the pitcher there. You tell it was not intentional, of course. That'll bring a runner on. No outs here for Chisholm Trail. Maybe it looked like he was pelted in the calf, which can certainly, it's a nice meaty area, but it can certainly hurt. I tell you, the best place you want to get hit by a baseball is in the gut. It's a nice, meaty area. Not a lot they can do from there. Goes for a pickoff. One strike. I actually personally set the Cypher ISD single season hit by pitch record personally, so I can tell you with absolute certainty you want to get hit or you want to get hit. Shows bunt, but takes it inside for strike two.
fouls of upwards, and the safety net has kept us safe once again. The ball is fired the wrong direction. For reference, Ivy's hit by pitch seven times in one season. I was very good at it. Like I knew how to lean to the ball without leaning into it, and there goes a swinging. Our swinging strike for the second out of the inning. Pitcher checking on the. Ooh, oh, sorry, all that. We uh, lost it there for a second. Our camera. The wind has been crazy here. Absolutely crazy. Ah! It's whipping around our camera equipment here. But we've. Uh, takes one inside there. Hopefully it should be back into play. And playing everything through there. Cat goes to 1-1 one, one with one out. Rips one high into the air. And the right fielder is there to canvas. it. That will be our second out. And our third. Is the runner. Nice easy play like that as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. All right, and we are back here with the bottom of the fifth inning here at Haltom City.
first pitch. Lifted high. That is looking for a catch there. And the left fielder is there to get it for our first pitch out. Uh, both teams have had four hits this evening, but home team Haltham has nothing to show for it other than zeros across the board so far. Pitch and a swinging strike. Really chopped for it. Couldn't quite come up with it. Oh, took that one on the... Looks like inside for a, another hit by pitch. Second one of the game. On the scale being hit by pitch, that's... Also, I mean, if you got the right elbow protection, it should be fine. I mean, I've seen a lot of people get actually really hurt by that, but... You know, on the grand scale of it, the worst one hit is definitely the head. Definitely don't want to get hit by pitch in the head. It, uh, hurts. I can tell you that. Even with the batting helmet on, it certainly hurts. Only one out here this so far. The runner on first. Rips one right. Oh, the shortstop bobbles it to the second baseman for one. And for two. Did get there? No, he was able to beat it out. And it was only one out. Could not quite reel the double play. Middlefield Empire did determine it's safe. It goes high. Fires it outside again for ball number two. Seems to be really getting away from. Really searching for that outside bottom corner. Hasn't, hasn't quite been able to find it. Really going outside there. Oh, did you have to strike? It was swinging through there. Going back to the well, but gave the hitter to swing on it. Sometimes you gotta throw balls to throw strikes. And another swinging strike. Foul it off that ball. Catcher gonna have a chat on the amount of visit with the pitcher. A lot of times to be in sync with a pitcher and a catcher. As a certain kind of relationship, you have to have a lot of trust, a lot of patience, and you have to have a belief that they're going to do what you tell them to do. Catcher's an incredibly difficult job, especially calling what pitches are going to come through here. And he gets him swinging for the last out of the inning. And that is another clean inning here from Chisholm Trail Pitching. That will bring us to the t our sixth inning here. Once again, you're watching Haltom City Baseball on Vite Media.
All right, and you're back here in Halton City. Chisholm Trail batting. We'll see if the Halton pitcher, he's been really finding his groove here. Able to three scoreless innings so far after his really uh, unfortunate second inning, putting up five runs. As he throws second pitch strike, count one and one. And it goes screenshot right here, brings our count to one and two. We're really fighting it down from there. There's the bread and butter. Takes it for the strike. Gets him looking for the for another strikeout for the first out of the inning. I tell you this, he's a completely different pitcher than he was. <clears throat> that second inning and starting the game here. But all it takes is one bad inning to really throw off an entire game here. So that first pitch and gets it swinging on that first pitch. That looked like it could have taken off <laughs> that catcher's head, he he was really swinging for it. Looks to go get some advice from the coach. Steps back. As someone who's never been a catcher before, I imagine it has to be absolutely terrifying knowing that any second your head could be taken off your body by the swing of a bat. Takes it there for a ball one. Bring our count one one. Oh, took a big cut at it, but it's strike two. He was looking for a different pitch than he got. Fouls it back behind the dugout. Let's get the safety curtains here at the park have certainly saved us once again. We do see a pitcher warming up here for Chisholm Trail. Could be it. As he gets another strikeout. That's the second out. Really starting to find himself here on the mound. It goes through here. A launches one right to the center fielder for the third out. Another one, two, three inning here for the halt for Haltum. Is he really starting to look for their groove? But it might be just too late. We'll see if Halton's batting will be able to answer back in the bottom of the six.
And we are back here at the bottom six inning. Hold him up to bat. Really trying to get on the board and struggling here. Takes his first pitch strike. You see the left handed hit hitter in the batter's box. And he drills one out into left field. And he will stop first for a single. Getting on base. Doing exactly what Halton need. And there are no outs. Just a single runner on first base. Runner up to bat. Halton City. Each and a pass ball off the catcher will allow the, per, the batter to go to second. And that means we do have runners in scoring position here. Another pass ball for the Pitcher will make and go to third, which means we have a runner at third, no outs, two balls, no strikes here. For Halton City. Throws in there for a strike number one. He'd be able to recover his strike zone. But we do have a runner in score on third with no outs. Oh. Taking that in the top outside corner for a strike. Right up there in the strike zone. Full count here. For the Jim Joe pitcher. Does he flinch? Pops it back. The catcher is running for it. Oh! He almost had a mixed collision with the wall. But it's okay. He's uh, certainly slid for it. Did everything you want to see a catcher do. But uh, wasn't quite able to get, come up with it. And the at bat continues. It's really a brick wall to collide into. It's not what you want to see as a catcher. But he certainly was fighting for it to get that out. And that will be a called ball four. And we now have runners on the corners with no outs for Haltham City. Be able to capitalize on this. Pulling out all the stops here. No outs here. Can this be the time for Halt to actually do some damage here in this game? So he'll take a first pitch ball outside. Takes one down and outside for ball two. Found the, found the edge on that one for a called strike for the count to two and one. He has certainly struggled here with finding the strike zone at this point in the game. Didn't swing. That is uh, certainly outside. Just got a three and one. Certainly the batter's uh, count to there. Always a tough choice whether you swing or let it go by. And he let it go by. And it was the right decision. And that will load the bases with no outs for Haltum here.
And the Chisholm coach will definitely go out there to have a talk with that pitcher on the mound, making sure what is the deal. At this point, if you are halted, you're just looking for a ball on the ground. Definitely having, I'm sure he has some kind of game plan in mind here. If you're the coach, you know what's you're up against here. All right, and we are back here, Halton City. We have a runner. The bases are loaded. No outs for Halton offense. Looking for anything here. Swings at it, and that is strike one. Oh, you can definitely tell those Halton boys are itching, itching to do some damage at this point with runners on all the bases. But you can't be too overly uh, swing heavy or they will play that against you. Certainly as a pitcher, you know, if, you're, if they're looking to swing, you can make sure to put it outside because we have seen these walks come in here for the Chisholm Hall pitcher. And he gets him to strike out. That was our first out of the inning here. Too overly swing happy for that pitch, for that batter. Apparently we had a, a batting substitution apparently. Uh, 34 for 444. Um, see if they keep me swing happy. Because it'd be so hard to keep that, deter that, that focus when you know that you have people on all three bases. Don't, you don't want to swing at nothing. No. And that will be our first run across the plate here for Haltom. And a regular score six 6-1. It's really what they need to happen. You just need a ball on the ground. That will be our second out as well of the inning. And there we go. We get our ball one. They were finally able to capitalize. <laughs> but can they tack on more to increase the lead here by Chisholm Trail? <laughs> G 
gets one on the ground. Oh, but is bobbled by the third baseman, and another runner will come in to score. Will they be able to get two? And they will! Two more runs here for Haltom. And that'll, bring, that'll cut the lead in half. And that is our fifth hit. Our fifth hit in the game for for uh, Haltem. They were finally able to cash in those runs. First pitch strike there for Chisholm. Pulls it through there, and a beautiful grab by the pitcher for the third out of the inning. What a, he picked it right out of the air for the. Halton finally able to get on the board, cut the lead in half. Our score stands after six innings is six to three, Chisholm Trail. You're listening to Wesley Newman on Vipe Media. All right, play here has continued here in Haltom City. Normally you do a seven inning stretch at the bottom of the seventh inning, but if anyone who's spent longer than you know, a single game in a high school bleachers, you know, sometimes you could fall asleep and get sore. So it has a stretch through here. And take the pitch and a strike. A nice swing strike to start the inning. This Halton pitcher is going to be a complete pitcher ever since that second inning. He's been actually very good. And his team has finally given him some support as well. The three runs in the last inning. As he takes another strike outside, the count 0-2. Yes. This is actually a really nice... It's gotten colder as things go by, but a nice sweater is all you really need right now as he takes a ball inside, ball one. Cold steel bleachers can cause things to go numb. That's why you gotta stretch. And he takes another ball outside for it to even up the count, two and two. Exactly. And another ball goes sailing for our full count here for the Halton pitcher.
And he can't quite find his zone for a, another walk. But a runner on the base. Chisholm Trail haven't quite managed to do anything since the second. Maybe this, their fortunes will change. Here in the seventh inning. here. Looks for him. Got to keep the guy on first honest. Don't want to. Because we have seen, especially in the second inning, just how deadly these Chisholm Trail runners can be on the base path. Coming here through the Halton pitcher. And we see the Chisholm rip one foul right over the Chisholm dugout. It's going to be our save there by the netting. Something about this guy in first is really giving a pause to the Halton pitcher. Really got to check in on him. And there goes the run. And he gets there in time. He was going to run, and whether they have it or not. Nice jumping throw there by the catcher, but it was not in time. And the runner makes the second. Now there's runner in scoring position, no outs. Before, and he rips it out into left field for a double. Will he come home to score? And he gets there. Another run for Chisholm Trail off an RBI double. Chisholm Trail certainly there to answer those three runs in the last inning there from Haltom. Off an RBI double. Again, to some very fantastic base running here tonight from Chisholm Trail. Lots of manufactured runs here. A ball gets loose, but those runners have really got inside this Halton, Halton pitcher's mind. Really eroded the confidence there. Really got to forcing them to constantly check in on them. There's a rips out to there. And that'll be our first out of the inning. A nice fly ball out to the midfield. Center field in there. Was in there to get it. Keeping him there. And the ball gets loose. And the ball. The runner did not take advantage of that. Generally, when the ball gets loose out there, you take. <laughs> he goes running, but uh, plays it safe and does not take advantage of the, the, the miscue from the uh, Halton City defense. It's going to rips one down the middle. Shortstop there to get there. And gets him in time. But the runner will advance. And, first, and then we have two outs. The runner in scoring position on third. One run already. This Can they make it more? Last call to front of the concession stands as we go into our almost 9 o'clock. 
But I just feel like it just really breezed by. Or rips one up high. Doesn't look like there's anybody there for it. And he finds the hole. And a runner will, sc runner will score. And will stay safe at first base. A line drive set to uh He found exactly the one place where all three guys could not get to and managed to get it right there. Pitcher answers by firing his first pitch strike. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. O2 count here for the halt of pitcher. Another up there, but the second baseman is there to catch it. And that will be it for our the middle the top of the seventh. Halton City will take the, the batter's box again to try to, to answer those runs. Score stands as 8-3 Chisholm Trail. And we are back here at the bottom of the seventh inning. Halton City once again up to bat. Can they tack on more runs like they did last? Chisholm Trail was able to answer for two to get the lead to buy f to five, but see the resilience of this Halton offense. As it go goes to. 0-2. Oh They're going just outside and low. That is our first ball that is 1-2. and two. They're, they're just getting there. Able to rip one in there, but the second baseman is there. Can he fire it first in time? And he, oh, and he bobbles the ball and makes him safe. I have to think that will be labeled an error, not a base hit. But an amazing diving stop by the second baseman there. First baseman couldn't quite come up with it.
fires a first pitch strike. He has f found his perfect groove on that, that particular area, but can he stick to nailing that particular area? I was certainly outside, but did not fall for it. Raise our count to one and one. Rips one foul in the opposite direction, right behind us. We're just going to one and two. Oh, and the ball goes low for ball number two. Evens our count up at two and two. Pitcher does not look happy with that call. Calling that one high is ball number three. That brings us to a full count. Full count here. And he's outside and low for ball four. That will be two on with no outs. That's a very similar position here that Halton City has been in before. As we see our left-hitting bunter coming to play. We've seen him bunt before to put, us, to put them in a very advantageous position. Can he do it again? I mean, you did see him do a base hit before as well. That was called a strike on the inside. I have it called outside, a one and one. Oh, and swinging strike makes the count one and two. He was searching for it. It looked to be also in the strike zone, too. So just wasn't the pitch he was looking for. Outside, even at the count at two and two. Really surging for it here. They look for that one pitch. And that was his pitch. He will go line drive into the gap there in center. And then, which will load the bases with no outs. Tell me if you've heard that one before. We have seen this again. Can they capitalize once again? No outs. Bases loaded. Once again here for Halton City. It's the second inning in a row. Can they capitalize once again? Takes one inside for a strike. Hits in the same play, the outside quarter for a strike. Tunero in the exact same place, did not swing at it. Swung at that one, got him, got him swinging. Couldn't quite pinpoint it for the first out of the inning. Things look very similar to they did last sitting. But there are still three men on. And a batter to play with only one out. It's called outside for ball number one. Outside and low. That one was def. Found him for a strike, finding his place. Hey, 
Found it in the same place, but we'll call it two and one. Certainly, ideally, you want to be able to walk in a run. We definitely seen that the hot pit. Our rips went in the air. And it was caught! The second out! But it will be a sack fly. And he was able to cross the plate for another run here. Not able to cross in time. It's not ruled the sack fly. Like right, then cut and goes to O and one strike there. Piling in through there. Even down to one and one. There's still there's two outs, but there are men on every base. Bases loaded. Flies right behind us, right over the screen. Count one and two. Can he get the strike out here to end the inning with bases loaded? There it is! Right where he's been setting it the entire game for the strikeout to end a bases loaded jam and no run scored by Haltum to bring us into the top of the seventh inning. Uh, apparently the game is over. That was the game. Uh, we were only doing seven innings here. Um, thank you so much everybody for joining us here. I've been your commentator Wesley Moon for uh, Vibe Media. Hope you have a wonderful night. All right.